How powerful is failing Sewis? The Failing Seaways is a closing weapon system for defense against incoming threats such as small boats, surface torpedoes, anti-ship missiles and helicopters. It was designed and manufactured by the General Dynamics Corporation, Pomona Division. Consisting of a radar-guided 20mm .8-inch Vulcan cannon mounted on a swiveling base, the Failings has been used by the United States Navy and the naval forces of 15 other countries. The US Navy deploys it on every class of service combat ship except the Zumwalt class destroyer and San Antonio class amphibious transport dock. The weapon is designed to be the last line of defense against anti-ship missiles. Due to its design criteria, its effective range is very short relative to the range of modern ACMs from 1 to 5 nautical miles. The gun mount moves at a very high speed and with great precision. The system takes minimal inputs from the ship, making it capable of functioning despite potential damage to the ship. The weapon is currently on Navy cruisers, destroyers, aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships, among other vessels. The upgrades are designed to substantially increase capability and ensure that the system remains viable in the face of a fast-changing and increasingly complex threat environment, Navy officials said. The overhaul in recent years has consisted of numerous upgrades to the weapon itself, converting the existing systems into what's called the Phalanx 1B configuration. At the same time, the Seaways overhaul also includes the development and ongoing integration of a new next-generation radar for the system called the Seaways Phalanx Block 1B Baseline 2, Navy officials explained. The Block 1B configuration provides defense against asymmetric threats such as small, fast surface craft, slow-flying fixed and rotary-winged aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles through the addition of an integrated forward-looking infrared sensor or FLIR. The Navy is now upgrading all Fleet Phalanx Block 1B Baseline 0 and 1 closing weapon system to the latest Phalanx Block 1B Baseline 2 configuration, ENG said. The plan is to have all Seawiz Phalanx Block 1B Baseline 2 fleet, he added. An upgrade and conversion of an older Seawiz Phalanx configuration to Phalanx Block 1B averages around $4.5 million per unit and a Block 1B Baseline 2 radar upgrade kit averages at $931,000 per unit, Navy officials said. The Phalanx Block 1B configuration incorporates a stabilized forward-looking infrared sensor, an automatic acquisition video tracker, optimized gun barrels (OBG), and the enhanced lethality cartridges (ELC), service officials added. Navy officials said Block 1B provides ships the additional capability for defense against asymmetric threats such as small high-speed maneuvering surface craft, slow-flying fixed and rotary wing aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles. The FLIR also improves performance against anti-ship cruise missiles by providing more accurate angle tracking information to the fire control computer, officials added. The OGB and ELC combine to provide tighter dispension and increased first hit rate, a Navy official added. The Phalanx 1B fires MK244 ammunition using the enhanced lethality cartridge specifically designed to penetrate anti-ship cruise missiles. The MK44 ammunition is engineered with a 48% heavier tungsten penetrator and an aluminium nose piece, according to information from General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems. The Phalanx Block 1B Baseline 2 radar upgrade is a new digital radar that provides improved detection performance, increased reliability and reduction in sailor man hours for system maintenance, service officials explained. The Baseline 2 upgrade mitigates obsolete components inherent in the existing analog radar by introducing COTS-based commercial off-the-shelf signal processing coupled with a new signal source and mixer, Navy officials said. The Baseline 2 radar also provides the failing Seawiz with surface mode, meaning it has the ability to track, detect and then destroy threats closer to the surface of the water compared with previous models of the weapon, developers explained. 
The upgraded Phalanx Seawiz is designed to give ships the ability to address surface threats which they have not seen before, service officials said. In practice, this means the Phalanx equipped with the Baseline 2 radar will have an increased ability to defend against fast attack boats and low-flying missiles, projectiles and aircraft. The Phalanx has been a mainstay self-defense system aboard nearly every class of ship since the late 70s. It was originally designed to defend low-altitude anti-ship cruise missiles or ASCMs. As anti-ship cruise missiles became more complex in maneuvers and ability to be detected, and warfare areas moved from open ocean to littoral environments, Seawis has evolved to meet the threat.